Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading I'm the Queen in This Life, episode three to four. Uh, I did drop it. I did drop this read for like a solid month because I just like I dread reading webtoons that have like foreign words and big words and this read have a bunch. Almost every other panels they have like a really tricky word that I have to stop and google and I know I do these reads to practice my English pronunciation but man this one drives me nuts. Like the Remarried Empress they will have like one or two per episode but this one jeez. So I know I will struggle with this entire webtoon series. So bear with me, you guys. <sighs> I'm, a, I'm a gonna hate it. All right, guys, enough about me. Let's go ahead and get started. I've gone back in time. Uh, what's this? I never had a mole under my eye. Ariadne. Quit admiring yourself like a noble woman. Wake up. You're a lowborn maid just like your mother. Uh, harsh. Ariadne. Th there's someone here from the castle. They say they're here to take you away. Then that would mean... Today is the day that my father took me in. I'm the Queen in This Life, Episode 3, Cardinal Demer. Though he is a man of the cloth, he had a woman and offspring, as clergymen were to do in this era. Though he was not allowed a wife under the law, he kept a mistress of high-born origins named Lucrecia who acted as a cardinal's de facto lawful wife. Meanwhile, his three children who were born out of wedlock were essentially treated as his legitimate offspring. Among them, Isabella was the middle child, who was renowned as the fairest lady of the capital and the cardinal's pride and joy. Meanwhile, the child who was born between the cardinal and a maid, Ariadne, was an illegitimate child like the other three. But due, due to her mother's low-born status, was banished from the cardinal's manor and sent to live on a farm. The manor of Cardinal de Mer, your eminence, Miss Ariadne is here to see you. Tough crowd. You can feel like the air is super stuffy in there. They have the same eyes. Greeting, your eminence. I pray I find you in good health. I'm delighted to see you again after a long absence. I'm glad you made the long journey here. As your father, I am likewise delighted to see that you've grown into a fine young woman despite the lack of a formal education. I'm grateful for the empty words of fatherly concern at least. I have a long way to go, your eminence. I shall continue to endeavor and learn so that I will not visit shame upon my family. Of course, we expect nothing less. However, a woman's virtue, virtue isn't to learn and better themselves, but to serve her parents and siblings as a young maiden than to serve and take care of her husband as a grown woman. You do well to spend your time on honing your ladylike refinement rather than poking your nose into where it doesn't belong. There was a time when I looked up to Lucrecia as a very model of a graceful noble woman. 
but now I see what a crass woman she is. Father places a great deal of importance of maintaining the appearance of a happy family, which will make it easier to take Lucrezia down a peg. <laughs> As you said, I will strive to be the best daughter that I can. Lady Lucrezia. Lady Lucrezia. Calm now, Ariadne. You may call me mother instead. Thank you, mother. Ugh. I must apologize for my late arrival. Who's that? Uh -oh. And welcome back to our family, dear sister. If there's anything I can help you with at all, please don't hesitate to ask. Isabella. I always looked up to her as my beautiful, perfect older sister. I admire her like the sun in the sky and wanted to come become close to her. Which is why I wasn't, I was constantly in her orbit. And yet Isabella kept making me feel small and withdraw into myself until in the end, I saw that radiant smile of hers for the last time. As she gleefully stabbed me in the back. Literally. Isabel, I won't let my life end in tragedy, tragedy like it did before. Huh? We're sisters, are we not? You may call me sister if you like. <laughs> Thank you, sister. It's good to see my family united once more. It pleases me indeed. You will behave yourself while you're under our roof, is that clear? But I haven't even done anything yet. Hm. In fact, I'm only just getting started. This must be a mistake. H how is she supposed to be my sister? I won't allow it. You're just some farm wench. You think I don't know that your mother was a common maid? In my previous life, I would have stood silent at your childish tantrum. But now I know exactly how to shut you up. Oh, you poor thing. What? I just sat, I'm just saddened by what I saw earlier. It seems that mother and father only have eyes for Isabella. Uh, huh? Shut your mouth! You know nothing about our family. Uh oh. No way. Did she shove her down the stairs? Uh oh. Uh. Whew, that was close. Uh. Oh. What on earth was that noise? What is going on here? Isabella, who did this? Father, it wasn't my fault. It, it was a... It was Ariadne. She's the one who pushed Isabella. Ariadne, you've barely been back for a moment. How could you already cause such a commotion? Father, I must apologize for causing a scene. I'm afraid Isabella hurt herself while trying to help me. Oh, help her? Yes, she fell down the stairs while she was trying to help me. 
You see, Arabella was playing a little rough and pushed me. What? That's not true. I didn't do anything of that sort. <laughs> Isabella wasn't trying to help her either. She was just standing there when... Am I, I may not have been educated as a highborn lady, but I know not to lie, father. If you find it hard to believe, perhaps you care to ask Isabella herself. Ooh, what did she say? Isabella. I, um... It's time to show your true colors. Arabella? Arabella Ella was only playing father. <laughs> Please, she doesn't deserve to be punished for that. <laughs> of course you'd say that. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't pass up an opportunity like this. This is a perfect opportunity for you to play the kind older sister to a half-sister who's being bullied. Sister! It's okay, Arabella. But please be uh, careful from now on. Arabella? Arabella! You will be confined to your room for two weeks! With nothing but bread and water as you pray each day. Father, no! I swear I didn't do it! I see you still haven't learned your lesson. For the sin of answering back, you will be confined for three weeks, not two. Father! Uh, Lucrezia! Where has this woman disappeared to? I'm telling the truth, it wasn't me! Hmm. What, ha what have you been teaching these children? Father! Father! Come to think of it. This might be easier than I thought. Ah, oh, my gosh, drama. It's getting good. I, I refuse to marry that man, Father. There are rumors that he might be an illegitimate, illegitimate, I can't say it, illegitimate, illegitimate child. I can't ever, I can, I know it says that, but I can't ever say it fast. An illegitimate child. I'm sorry, guys. Not only that, you always taught us to elevate our family's standing. I cannot become the most highly exalted lady as a wife of a mere count. Yes, yes, I'm well aware of the rumors. Though he is officially the cousin of the crown prince. In truth, Lord, Lord Caesar is the king's bastard son. Of course, I have no intention of allowing a daughter of mine to marry a bastard. Uh, your eminence. Children born out of wedlock should only sully each other. Wouldn't you agree? Might I suggest Ariadne for this broth betrothal instead? Betrothal instead? Betrothal. Ariadne. If you recall, she was the daughter you sired with my former maid. She currently works on a farm, taking care of odd jobs. I see. Ariadne. <laughs> Ariadne indeed. I'm the queen in this life. Episode 4. If this is truly my previous life, that's how I came to be summoned back to this manor. I can't repeat the mistakes of my previous life. But what must I do? To prevent my betrothal to Caesar. Well, Caesar, Cesare. Cesare. I think people like Cesare. Perhaps I ought to simply marry someone else. 
but or should I become rich and run away? No, this family won't allow me to marry whom I want. And acquiring wealth is realistically open an option for a noble man. It's only an option for a noble man. Hmm. Uh, I can't imagine there's a happy ending to this story. Where he falls in love with me and we live happily ever after. I'm not so naive as to believe in such sweet fairy tales anymore. In fact, it's quite the opposite. <laughs> Ooh. I want him to pay for what he's done. I bought you clothes. Uh, I bought you a change of clothes, my lady. That's Isabella's personal maid. You should get dressed and join your family at the dinner table. Meletta. You must be rather busy. Yes, my lady. Otherwise, you'd be helping me get dressed. Huh. <laughs> You're hardly a child, my lady. Don't you think you're old enough to dress yourself like an adult? It's not like you had a maid dress you down at the farm now, is it? She's awfully high and mighty for a farm girl. <gasps> she slapped her! Know your place, girl. What makes you think I'll tolerate such impudence? Impudence. How dare you! You were born to a peasant maid yourself. That makes you no different from the rest of us, my lady. Let's be honest, his eminence is an orphan and a clergy man, not a real noble man. That means you're not even a nobleman's bastard daughter. The other two ladies were born to a noble woman, so I understand. But you're as common as muck, just like the rest of us. Let's just say that his eminence takes a liking to me one day then my child will be your equal. Am I right? Oh, she slapped her again? Oh my gosh. That was for insulting my father and your ugly bout to of jealousy. Watch your tongue. Now get out. The worst thing is that a Mel that Meletta isn't entirely wrong. Everything that I have ultimately comes from my father. But I swore that I would never allow a man to hold a sway over my life again. First, in order to become independent, I must cultivate my own power by finding myself an ally. Ariadne! Oh. How dare you raise your hands against a member of this household? Oh my gosh. I, I was tidying up away Miss Ariadne's clothes when she suddenly hit me. You wicked girl. I see there's no end to your horrid temperament. Mother. Once I heard Meletta insult you and father, I had no choice but to defend your honor. What? She had the gall to say that my father should be ashamed for raising a pack of bastards born out of wedlock. As if they were le legitimate children worthy of nobility. <gasps> no, no ma'am, that, that's not true. What I said was that Miss Ariadne is not on the same level as her sisters. And another thing, 
She claimed that father himself is of common stock. She said Isabella and Ar Arabella inherited their mother's noble blood, which makes them noble ladies. But she has no reason to serve me, since I only have the blood of a peasant and an orphan in me. Lucrezia might agree with everything I just said. <laughs> but Cardinal Demare's bloodline is a delicate matter for the family, so you won't be able to turn a blind eye. Now for the finale. <laughs> Not only that, Maletta told me that if she were to earn father's favor and bear his child, that child would carry the same status as me, which means that she would not need to treat me as her superior. M m my lady! You common wench! How dare you covet my husband! <gasps> Have this insolent maid given ten lashes! Please, no, ma'am, please! You must believe me! I'm begging you! Lady Lucrezia! My dear, I do wish you come to, to me with matters such as these. No matter what happens, it's not ladylike to strike a servant. I apologize. I'm afraid I lost my composure. To atone for my behavior, I will banish myself to Rambulet Shelter for three days. Rambulet Shelter? If I may, I'd like to take Maledi with me. It was partly my fault for failing to set a positive example for Maleta to follow. I would like nothing more than to have her accompany me so that I help, might help bolster her faith. Uh, hold on. Even so, Rambulet's shelter is too much. Perhaps five days would be even better. I imagine a longer retreat at the shelter will give you more time to atone. <laughs> You're right, of course, dear sister. I will spend the five days in the penitence with Meleta. My goodness. Oh my goodness. What is that place? Rambulet Shelter. Oh, as I expected. <laughs> this is a perfect place to hatch my plan. Oh my gosh. Okay. But the thing is, why did she bring the maid who just talked down on her? Is she gonna like convince her to be on her team? Or is she going to punish the crap out of her? It's getting good. Alright guys, I'm sorry for stuttering and mispronouncing some of the words. It's a headache for me still. I dread it when I, sit, I read this. So let's see how long I can keep it up. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, check out my other reads, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!